Borata, good morning, how are you? What a lovely weekend we had. It's been really gorgeous, hasn't it? Yesterday I uh, preached around a small part of the gospel reading and I've got the whole thing in front of me this morning because the little bit I didn't preach about actually connected with an email I got. Um, the bit I didn't preach about from the gospel was about the kingdom of God being compared to a mustard seed which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it's sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. The idea that something so tiny can grow into something so big. I had an email yesterday from a group uh, who are interested in churchyards and conservation who had done a survey in one of our churchyards. And I think churchyards across the whole of England and Wales have been taking part in this survey uh, to look at, at what's growing. Now, I, did a, I do know my plants a little bit. I can't profess to be an expert and I don't spend much time with it, but you know, I, I, I'm aware that there are different plants in our churchyard and and when I or churchyards when I walk through I have a look and you know it's beautiful to see buttercups and uh, forget-me-nots and daffodils in the right time of year and and I even like the brambles and so on because the fruit they provide uh, it, you know there's, there, there's quite a lot going on in our churchyards however I had not expected to be told that our churchyard in Usk holds 92 different kinds of plant, shrub, tree, bush. 92, including the grasses. And that didn't include the toadstools and mushrooms and lichen and other fungi because um, they weren't looking at those. 92 different things. It's amazing, isn't it? And I'm very glad that the people did that survey and it just opened my eyes to thinking, well, what else am I missing in life? What other tiny things are there around that actually come together to make something huge and something beautiful, but we're not noticing the detail? It's, it's easy to miss the detail, isn't it? It's easy to take the broad sweep of things and to get on with our busy lives. And if we stopped and took a moment to pause and have a good proper look, not just at what's passing us by at a rate of knots, but what's actually the real detail, the nitty gritty, the, the, the minutiae of God's creation. There are some beautiful things out there for us. So this morning, it's a really short one for you because I don't want to waste your time. Let us all take a moment today to just pause and have a good look at the detail of what is around us, the beauty of God's creation, and see what we might have missed had we been too busy, busy to just stop and take a moment, a moment to really, really look. We live in a wonderful place, don't we? And let's make the most of it. I hope you have a good day today. I hope you are able to see goodness and detail in everywhere that you look. And I shall be in touch with you soon. Lots of love and God bless. Bye bye.